Hello guys, it's uh, Amit again. Um, today I'm going to discuss about Oracle debugging. As we all know that uh, we have one special method of using debugging in SQL Developer. Uh, I have already created, created one procedure and uh, I just check by debugging it once. Now, what do we mean by Oracle debugger? We know whenever we are writing any code, it may have some small piece of bugs which we may have missed. The best way to find it out is first way is using dbms output put line and uh, using that we can get our uh, actual values which, which we are expecting. But what if we are using cursor or something else in that case sometimes even dbms output put line is not good enough in that case we can use our debugging first step is to uh, open that procedure then just compile it and once it is a compiled let me compile it once more then either you can compile for debug or you can directly click here to debug before that you have to create some breakpoints by clicking at some points now i have created one simple procedure in this we are pushing when we are inserting one, da one variable data with in, in, in parameter then uh, we have some variables val that is varchar2 val1 that is number then we have data that is again varchar2 and have given some value to this then we have a start we went to our second block that is begin in this i have used one regular replace uh, where I am looking for this comma and for first line first uh, I am checking for first comma and uh, for this I am getting first part of that uh, before that comma here then second line I am checking for the second part of that comma that will be 2, 3, 4 and uh, that's it that is what that's, that's what our procedure is doing here now I want to check debug whether it is doing the same or not. So I clicked on this bug sign. I have given some value here. Let's give it uh, some other value. Uh, 97 and 456. Okay. Oh, I say no anyway to join them all now you can see some sign this sign means it has to be terminated it will come out from this blogger it will go to some education point it will step over means it uh, will skip from this point to second point directly it will not read inside then it is a step in sorry uh, this is a uh, step in is f7 and then step out is shift or f7 means coming out of that then step to the end of the method that will go to end and that this one is for resume and uh, this will, one will remove all the breakpoints so we have already started our uh, debugging now I want to check for the data here you can see the for while executing this uh, that in the value for this data I inserted was 8, 987, 678 and so on. So let's see what happens to, to do to this data. So I am pressing F7. Here you can see that all same. Here you can see val is null because val no value have inserted. 
here val1 is null data is null if you say that uh, you can see val num val1 equal to 4 it's because it is being initiated here it's not completely initiated you want to see the change in the data you have to go to the next line see it's null and in next line it will become 4 oh, sorry for val1 it became 4 for data it's null but if i'm go to next line i can see the value of data is also change here you can see val is null but if i will go to next line it will become 1 2 3 and it became now if i'm going to go into the next line still the value of val is 1 2 3 but next line i will get i will i will see what is the current value of val that is 2 3 4 and if I'm going to last one, now it will open one anonymous block here using which we can run our anonymous block. So this was all about uh, DBMS, sorry, all about uh, debugging. Using this, uh, it can be used, uh, here we are using very small procedure, so it may not look very helpful here, but uh, in real scenarios, we may end up having many confusing along with rape cursor, cursor, uh, loops, and uh, other scenarios where it is proven to be a very useful method to debug anything so that's all for oracle debugging uh, please try it in your system for this you need access also uh, i'm forgetting grant uh, debugging on session and some other uh, you need to get those uh, ac uh, grants before you can use it and once you have it will make your life easier whenever you are de debugging any procedure. Thanks. Bye. Good night.